hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Hattie and thank you for clicking on this video and if you're returning I love you so much and thank you for the support so in today's video as you can see by the title I'm going to be giving you some of my random facts about me and that this video is all about you getting to know me personally and what I like and what I don't like so yeah without further ado let's jump into the video yes, I'm going to be giving you 20 20 random facts about me today you're going to get to know me better so random fact number one number one my real name is Hatma Manshul and Manshul some people spell Manshul as they spell it M-A-N-S-U-R but for me I spell it as M-A-N-S-H-O-R because and uh, when when we are with, when we were starting to school it's my big sister when she was like registering us to school she's the one who gave us that spelling of the name with a double o which i think i grew up and i thought i think it's cool with it it's cool with the double o but not the u so yeah so from today you know my name hatma manshur random fact number 2 I was born on September 29th, so I'm a Libra. Where are my Librarians? Ah, do they say Librarians? Libras. I don't know what do they, whatever they say. Random fact number three, I'm shy. Shy, really? Really hard? Yes guys, I'm shy and I'm a quiet person. I don't talk for example I can't talk in public and I can't talk with, with like in a place where there are very many people I'm always shy even I don't know where I get the guts to talk on camera for sure I don't know but I'm even asking myself how how am I talking to you guys on the camera and I'm shy for sure I can't speak in public random fact number four guys i love lipstick who loves lipstick like me look at the lips <laughs> and if you're wondering the lip color i'm wearing it's called cyber by mac cyber by mac so i love lipstick guys and let me tell you something whenever my husband is going out whenever he's going somewhere to some country let it be dubai or russia or somewhere I always send for lipstick guys I like collecting lipstick and my lipstick my favorite lipstick color is Ruby Woo by Mac that lipstick color matches any skin tone guys and for me I like using it whenever I'm going out and I don't have any I don't feel like putting on makeup I just get my Ruby Woo and I just apply it on my lips then I go out or wherever I want to go if at all I don't want to put on lip um, to put on makeup Ruby Woo is a go-to random fact number six guys <laughs> I don't know if some of you guys are like me I have a bachelor's degree in accounting and finance and even I went ahead to study a professional course of CPA but all my papers are sitting at home and I'm like why did I go to school and I ended up being a stay home mom which is okay which I love so yeah if you're a stay home mom I salute you guys because this job is not easy guys anyway but it's it's so good you get to bond with your kids you get to see how they grow up you, you get to you know enjoy with them play with them do whatever whatever thing you wish or you want to do with kids so yeah I have a degree in accounting and finance so and by the way I've never worked in any accounting firm. I've never been any. I've never been an accountant, but I ended up being a stay-at-home mom. Not because jobs for some. Not because jobs were not there for me, but for some reason, 
I just decided to be a stay home mom. So yes guys, that's random fact number six. Random fact number seven, guys, I don't stand people. I don't, I literally don't stand people who do not keep time. Guys, if we agree to meet at a certain time and you come at your different time, I can't stand you. You know, for me, I I think I, I don't know why, I always keep time. If you tell me like we are supposed to meet at one, it is always one. Or if I'm late, I'm maybe like five minutes late or maybe 10 minutes earlier. So yeah, just, but if you don't keep time, I don't stand you. I don't like, I don't like people who don't keep time. Fact number eight, I love the internet. I cannot be anywhere without the internet. I love internet and I love being on my phone too much. I don't know whether it's a habit or it's a what, but I can't stand any place without internet. For example, guys, here at home, we have we use a wife at home, but whenever the Wi-Fi is off, I'm the first person to ask my husband, what's wrong? Why, why is the Wi-Fi not working? Blah, 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 blah. Because I can't be in a place without internet at least if there is no internet at home or there is a problem with the road at home uh, I will put bundles on my phone I'll put data on my phone and that's what I will use because I like being updated on what's going on around the world what's going on with celebrities what's going on with anybody on the internet so I love the internet number nine I, <laughs> I don't know. You guys don't come for me about this. I can't finish a whole movie. Seriously? Unless I'm in a cinema. And of which I've, I've ever gone to a cinema one time. And that was my first time. Uh, because someone recommended me to watch. There was some movie which came up. I don't know. I don't remember the year it was. But it was called Black Panther. If you've ever watched Black Panther. Comment down below the year it, it came out. Yeah. That was my very first time to go in, into, a mo into a cinema. And that was my first time to finish a whole movie. I've never finished a movie. Even if I'm at home here, people here know me. I can call them. You people come. We go watch a movie on TV. And I'll be the first person to, like, after around, after around 10, I think 10 to 20 minutes, I'll be the first person to get up and I leave the sitting room and I leave the people whom I call to watch the movie with watching it. And yet I'm the one who called them. I can't finish a whole movie can you imagine <laughs> it's so oh my god i don't know why but i can't finish a whole movie unless it's in a cinema of which i've ever gone once and that was my first time i don't know when i'll go back to watch another movie but that was my first time and that was my first time to finish a whole movie there is random fact number 10 i hate coffee but i love the smell of it you know when my husband is making coffee and you know that aroma the whole house smells coffee oh my god i feel like taking it but i can't i hate it i can't stand that bitter taste of coffee guys no 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 no, no. but my husband loves coffee and yeah he loves coffee so much and i don't know what it is what it is what is the secret what the secret in coffee is but he loves coffee so much but me i can make it for him but i can't i can't stand the taste of coffee guys no don't give it to me i don't like it random fact number 11 <laughs> this one i even feel <laughs> even regret okay i have a tattoo on my arm and i regret getting it you know this this high school you know 
high school um, students you know it, it was the high people were getting uh, people were getting tattoos everyone was getting tattoos and you could see, I could see my friends getting tattoos you know all people at school okay most of the students were getting tattoos in in the school so I was like mm, why why can't I also get a tattoo and you know a tattoo the, 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 by that time at, at school even fellow students were the one giving us these tattoos putting on tattoos Do you know even how they are doing it they could get four pins four needles and four or five needles i don't know and they could you know tie it around with some thread then after dip it in a certain ink i even don't know where they got it from and you know they first draw with a pen on wherever you want the tattoo to be then after they like prick prick you then after the this time the tattoo is done so i got mine on my arm and i regret getting it guys i will not tell you the meaning of the tattoo because it's <laughs> my secret i will not tell it to you but i really regret getting it if you're in school guys and you're still studying never get tattoos you don't know about guys let me show you the tattoo i'm talking about i don't know if you can see it it's on my arm it's here right right there i don't know if you can see it but it's right there if any of you know where i can get somewhere they can remove this tattoo guys please put in the comment below so that i get rid of this tattoo because i regret getting it it is the worst thing and it's the worst decision i have i have ever made oh my god this no 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 and guys it's not even it's not only the worst decision i've ever made but it is the ugliest tattoo i've, I've had i don't have any other tattoo on my body i don't have anything and yeah so this is the only tattoo i have and it's so ugly i hate it and i regret getting it <laughs> anyways guys number i think number 12 i'm a size i'm a shoe size 38 i have a small leg i wear i can wear 38 to 39 i 38 to 39 so if i am not be i'm not I can even wear a 37 sometimes if it's in the big size but my shoe size is a 38 if you're there and you were a girl and you're beyond 39 you're like 40 and above and you're a girl you're not you're not a woman you're a man <laughs> I'm joking guys but anyway yes my shoe size is 38 I have I have a big body but I have a small foot so yes guys and by the way these sizes of shoes are 37 38 39 they have the cutest shoes if you're looking and it's very easy getting shoes for for our shoes for our sizes the 38s 37s and 39s 39s and it's it's it makes it easier for someone to like buy for your shoe if at all you order for a shoe it is very easy for someone to buy for you and we have got a variety of shoes in our shoe sizes because we are we have small foot and you know small foot are cute so yeah and in fact number 13 i've never been to a music festival can you imagine i don't know what what is my life all about do i stay at home so much or what i've never been to a music festival and i don't like being okay i i don't like crowded places for example i can go to a concert but i like places where you go and sit and you watch your you watch whatever you've gone to watch and you know you come back home not like these festivals of standing for the whole day or for the whole night moving around no that's not my type i don't like that if i'm if i choose if i decided to go to such places to like crowded places i rather go to the cinema i rather go to the theaters to watch plays like stage plays and some places where there are no crowded people fact number 14 i guys i hate dark chocolate oh. 
I hate, hate, real hate dark chocolate. Don't give it to me. I don't like it. However much they say it is healthy, I don't like it. I really, really love milk chocolate. So yeah, dark chocolate, no. Don't give it to me. I don't like it. I hate it. Don't give it to me. Period. Random fact number 15. I'm terrible of calling people. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about this. I don't know whether this is... I think this is a bad habit. I'm terrible of calling people. I can't pick up my phone to call someone like, Hey, how are you? To call my sisters or my friends or... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm very terrible. Like, how? <laughs> I don't know. Me to pick up a phone and call, uh, however much they call me, they call me and ask me how uh, how am I and yo okay, even my mom complained, my sisters and all, okay, most people complain about it, for it, this is a bad behavior, I have to leave it, I'm very terrible of calling people. But however much when we meet, for example, when we meet at, uh, at home or somewhere, we can jazz, we can talk, we can do what. But I don't know why I can't pick up to call someone like, hey, how are you? How have you been? I'm very terrible. And if you're my friends, sisters, or I don't know anyone, if you're there and you're watching this, you know this, I'm very terrible. And I'm sorry, I'll change. <laughs> I'll have to call you. I have to I'll have to call you guys. Um I'm sorry. But I'll change. I'll start calling you guys. So yeah, and I love you so much. So guys, the habit of not calling people is bad. If you guys you're there and you're doing the same like me, it's a bad habit. Stop it. Call your friends, call your family, ask them how they are. Yeah, tell them you love them. So yeah. It's a bad habit. Don't do that. Don't. Random top, random fact number 16, guys. I have, have so many scars on my legs. And literally, I literally don't even know how I got them. I think when you used, when we used to be young, you know, we used to be stubborn. We used to go and climb trees. We used to run. I used to knock my legs so much. I used to know, you know, maybe I got the scars when... I was young and when I grew up I realized oh I have I have a lot of scars on my legs guys <laughs> it's so I don't know but I anyways I hate them but I have nothing to do about them yeah that's why I'll never allow my kids to run around or to do you know to, to be stubborn running maybe unless they're at school when I'm not around but if I'm around no running around, no getting wounds on the legs, no scars. <laughs> I regret my scars, but anyway. Though I don't know how I got them. Random fact number 17. Something little can annoy me, guys. I get annoyed. Like, I don't know. I think it's... I don't know why, but you can do to me something very little and get annoyed and you do something big and I don't get annoyed I don't know I just get annoyed with small small things make me annoyed I don't know why but I easily get annoyed even my husband knows that <laughs> if you're watching this <laughs> but I'll have to change I don't know how I will change but I don't know why small things make me annoyed or you may t you may say something little to me and i you know i look at you like i turn my face and i'll get annoyed so fact number 18 guys i i can't do any sports let it be basketball netball volleyball athletics i literally can't do nothing nothing but i love going to the gym i love working out so yeah i'm waiting for my one year of my baby to be one year then i start going to the gym and 
this issue of quarantine you know quarantine quarantine i'm waiting for it to get finished you know we are in quarantine right now guys so once we are done once everything is okay there's nothing disturbing the world there's nothing disturbing us then i'll start gymming i love the gym but i can't do any sports and i hate soccer i hate soccer guys and you know those people who i don't know i hate even i don't like men who like watch soccer i don't know and i'm very lucky my husband doesn't like soccer too he doesn't watch soccer so yeah if you're there and you're that kind of man who likes going to watch football no 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 that's i i don't like it and you know yeah thank god i got someone uh, my husband doesn't like it he doesn't watch soccer unless it is this um i don't know I, I think he likes it but he's not too obsessed with it so yeah and in fact number 19 i love christmas guys <laughs> though i'm muslim by the way if you didn't know i'm muslim but i love 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 christmas and my favorite time of the year my favorite holiday is christmas i love whenever and whenever christmas songs play guys oh my god i love christmas songs christmas carols you know anything to do with christmas i love i like i don't know i'm obsessed with christmas random fact number 20 the last fact guy i'm fat <laughs> i'm fat and i want to lose weight but i love food um, and my favorite restaurant is ordering from cafe javas i all i i always like their caribbean jack chicken with brown rice you know and those fried plantain oh my god give them to me and hey i'll finish the whole plate in 10 minutes i love food i love to eat so yeah so and a bonus a bonus fact maybe if i forgot it because it was one of the one of the ramble the random fact guys i can't dance i'm a i can't i cannot dance <laughs> this is i can i can be there seated and listen to a tune and i always have those dancing moves in my head when i when they tell me to stand up and dance i can't i'm a terrible dancer i cannot dance yes guys that is it for today's video thank you for watching i love you guys so much don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your bell the notification bell you see there and so yeah tell your tell everyone whom you know to subscribe on my channel tell your friends your mom your dad your sisters your brother everyone you know please tell them to subscribe to my channel because more content is coming don't forget to work hard and always have good intentions till next time i love you guys bye bye <laughs> Guys, can we, I forgot, can we appreciate my hair? How these curls came, how they look. Wow, I love them. Look at that. Look at those waves, those curls. Look at them, guys. And, and if you're wondering, if you're in Uganda and you want to do box braids, I made them from Tutu's Salon. It's found on Kotokisasi Road. So if you want to make these braids I have on my hair, if you want to make these braids, it's Tutu's Salon and Spa in Kisasi. So yeah, I love my braids. So till next time, bye bye.